Getting out from behind bars in an orange jumpsuit is one thing, but a big top breakout in face paint and clown shoes is something else entirely. Something the Escapist 2 has managed to grasp better than its predecessor, not taking itself too seriously, and it is paying dividends. This latest DLC is as ridiculous and over the top as you might expect, but it works brilliantly. Big Top Breakout sees you play a prisoner ejected from his cell and transferred to the Cirque de Catastrophe under the care of its ringmaster. While you're still confined to the same routines as a prisoner, attending roll calls, eating meals on time, performing favours and doing jobs, you also need to play the role of the entertainer. Every day the circus hosts a spectacle in the Big Top where the prisoners will perform stunts and acrobatics, like swallowing fire, juggling and staying balanced on a unicycle. In Big Top Breakout then, it's important to get your strength and stamina attributes up in order to perform the different feats. These are usually done through tapping the LT or the RT at the right time in order to keep up the momentum, but miss time one though and you start to slow down and lose some of the crowd's attention. Perform well and you may just start impressing the boss. You'll also be able to apply these traits to new jobs, like taming lions, sticking job posters up and putting face paint on willing audience members. Each job offers something a little different, and the more you work towards improving and developing yourself, the more job opportunities will be available to you. But while there's much fun and frivolity to be had, the task at hand is still to escape, whether you do it together as a team or decide to go it alone. And there's options, as there always is. The most obvious and clear one presents itself early on with an old out-of-action cannon positioned near the big tent. One option is to figure out how to fix it in order to launch yourself out of there before anyone realises. Definitely an opportunity for the thrill seeker. There's also various doors which can be opened with a slew of different key cards, and those can be crafted at different points in the game providing you have the right materials. And of course there's one or two secret routes which you'll have to figure out for yourself. All part of the fun after all. And that's exactly what Big Top Breakout is. Fun. In fact, I had more fun with this DLC than I did all of The Escapist 2. It added a refreshing spin on the mechanics while still making everything feel familiar. The brand new environment was quirky, creative, but always entertaining. And even though the concept is radical and borderline ridiculous, it genuinely works well in context of the game. This is a team at the height of their creativity, bold and unafraid to try new things because they understand their product inside and out. Big Top Breakout is everything I could have wanted from an Escapist DLC, and for a measly £2.49, it's an essential purchase for anyone who already owns the game. Heck, we could even make the case it's a reason to buy the Escapist 2 just to play it. Big Top Breakout is big time fun. So to summarise on the pro side, it's clever play on existing mechanics, cool new jobs and great looking environment, funnier than ever, there's nice benefits to both solo and multiplayer, and it's an unintense, casual and fun gameplay without tough difficulty. On the cons, some slight graphical hitches and some favour repetition. But we decided to give The Escapist 2 Big Top Breakout a 9 out of 10. We tested this version on PC. Thank you very much for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Let us know your thoughts on The Escapist and The Escapist 2 and any of the DLC for the game. We'd love to hear your thoughts about that and whether or not you've been looking into buying it. We're looking to expand our DLC coverage even further with other Escapist DLC and other DLC content for other games. So stay tuned for all of that and we'll see you next time.